and rahu ketu to do have no combinations but once again we can do them in a nutshell because regarding rahu and ketu some questions are always there which satisfactorily can never be answered because <laughs> people are very you know i believe people with bad combinations have quite difficulties in life that's why they become interested in astrology and as an astrologer it is our duty to show them the right path but generally because the bad combinations do not have a good result people get disappointed but what to do with that venus rahu people are very tense regarding venus rahu no relationship relationship always relationship on the mind <laughs> no problem no problem no problem see we rahu indicates snakes venus is considered as protector of snakes venus basically protects rahu and venus rahu combinations does indicate that because of the spouse native commits a lot of mistakes in life and only because of spouse the native is saved multiple times one point <laughs> sorry native is saved multiple times one point is there in venus rahu combination i think worshiping sri yantra or worshiping goddess devi in any form is highly beneficial it makes the combination very positive and brings a lot of prosperity etc to native before i go to somewhere else you just have to understand that rahu enhances the influence of any planet so when venus and rahu is there with each other the spouse will be very prominent right rahu enhances the spouse the spouse will be very prominent if happening in a good rashi the spouse can be very beautiful there will be great attachment to sexuality in the life of the native the native have many sources of comforts the life will be basically trouble free the native will have multiple resources you will just have to keep in mind that the good result will be more prominent if the combination is happening in a good house and good rashi right the result will not be that great if the combination is happening in bad rashi bad house good rashi for venus good rashi will be first house fourth house tenth house fifth house ninth house eleventh house for rahu good houses will be third house sixth house tenth house and eleventh house remaining houses second house is neutral to both of them basically right eighth house is not good for either of them twelfth house is only good for venus right so this is a basic point you have to understand apart from that virgo rashi gemini rashi libra taurus pisces is good for venus uh, virgo gemini is good for rahu libra taurus pisces is good for venus the positive result is very prominent when it is happening in good house and good rashi otherwise the result is normal only normal traits are high uh, like you know high 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 attach attachment to sexuality is a normal result it happens in every case but comfort trouble free life prominent spouse beautiful spouse multiple resources these are good results and for that good result to happen venus because these results are coming from venus rahu is only enhancing the result for this good result to come the rashi should be beneficial for venus houses should also be beneficial for venus in fact even capricorn aquarius will be beneficial for venus because it will be a friendly rashi for venus that we have to understand apart from that if venus becomes vargottam then also venus is very positive or rahu becomes vargottam the combination becomes very positive and because vargottam brings raj yoga prominent spouse beautiful spouse native becoming prominent following the advice of a spouse native having comforts in life trouble free life multiple resources in life will particularly become very very true this we have to understand right the native will have a palatial home the person will have luxuries in life all sort of things 
regarding negative combination sometimes i have seen that spouse wants to marry someone else that they cannot do and eventually they get married to you or even at the even up to the last moment spouse is not very sad and of marrying to you because of which you sometimes feel that the dedication devotion from the spouse side is lacking a negative result the spouse will be deceptive sometimes the physical violence is there in relationship in the horoscope of the, the person which is in the which who is having the combination there can be physical violence torture blackmailing and lot of control you know dominance in fact dominance from the spouse side as a negative result of this combination the spouse have a suspicious behavior the native is always suspicious of the spouse's behavior because of the way they do things because of which there is never 100% you know give and take of love happening in relationship at any point of time because of the suspicious behavior that the spouse is having the focus of the spouse is not marriage depending on wherever the combination is happening the focus of the spouse or the focus of the native is never marriage they take the marriage and the spouse for granted because of which there are issues in life as such however in any case it gives great attachment towards luxuries and comforts for the native luxuries comforts palatial home riches etc it gives great attachment towards that and whether it will be fulfilled whether it will be fulfilled or not that entirely depends on where the combination is happening who is more powerful and who is not powerful but basically this is the result that i will say happens with this combination right but you see we are only taking this as venus being the significator of marriage apart from that also venus is significator for many things for eyesight this is a very bad combination it generally indicates weak eyesight it will indicate that person may have problems related to eyesight and because of this eyesight person will also have problems related to planning and ideas and generally the plans and ideas of the native will not get executed very easily there will be obstructions obstacles and hurdles and native have to be ready with plan a b c and d otherwise there can be very very serious issues with respect to wealth certainly this combination gives great attachment to wealth and even in the worst cases the person is at least able to sustain themselves and their family as the age progresses by the financial condition becomes very better if the combination is happening in a rashi beneficial for venus then the person is very rich without any problem however there are family issues generally not marriage i will not say but with parents and siblings there are great issues with parents and siblings in the life of the native and personal life with parents and siblings and the background from which the native comes from is very challenged and humble and native have to struggle a lot to come out of that background generally because of the bad background education etc is not good start to career is not good initially for many years in the life of career the person uses all their money and resources just to fulfill the deficiencies and only after working for some 10 years they are actually able to make something good for themselves is what i have noticed with respect to siblings if the native have female sibling then the life of female sibling is very much troubled male sibling is okay okay right with respect to children the combination is not very good for having children as such there are delays and complications and generally in 80% of the cases you will see a twin child or if it is not a twin child then generally the child will have child will have bad health from bad health you also understand my hint other bad things can also happen but if i say that uh, it is like you know i'm telling negative and you must always remember the point that fifth lord is there jupiter is there that you also have to analyze right based on one combination you are not going to conclude anything at all right regarding marriage uh, rahu indicates getting married to someone who is you know either already married or wants to get married to someone else right basically the spouse do not have first desire or preference of yourself right so this is what happens right but it does not affect the quality of marriage at all right because rahu is very unconventional planet right so spouse is 100% dedicated and devoted to you this is just a i believe the spouse is very honest right 80 percent of the time people have this tendency but they keep in their mind they do not express it but the spouse is very honest the spouse is very good 
right and this happens and uh, the spouse is because transparent uh, right so this thing is there it does not affect the quality of marriage at all right marriage will be good or not deception etc will be from the spouse or not that entirely depends on you know in which house the planets are situated in if they are situated in good houses this is not a problem at all uh, you know this we have to understand uh, suddenly it gives a lot of fear and phobia to the native right depending on the type of rashi the combination is happening the, if it is happening from water rashi the person will have phobia of water if it is uh, combination is happening in fire rashi person will have phobia of fire electricity in air rashi person will have phobia of falling etc in earth rashi person will have phobia of meeting with earthquake etc right so it gives phobia it gives fear generally it gives genetic hereditary diseases also venus rahu combination with respect to fortune i believe uh, you know rahu venus combination one should strictly follow their religion and one should uh, be orthodox in following the religious uh, customs because rahu is uh, rahu indicates uh, you know non orthodox things right but as i told you earlier also only following the satvik tendency of the planet is remedy otherwise not so uh, in with a very strong rahovian influence in horoscope if you follow your religious practices in an orthodox manner rahu will improve if you do not follow your religious customs in an orthodox disciplined manner then the rahu will slowly slowly start giving you bad results so if rahu is prominent it is prominently placed it is with a prominent planet it is with a planet whose result you want to improve you make sure that you are adamantly regularly with the discipline following the rules and customs of your dharma rahu venus combination i have generally seen that between the age of 30 to 40 the person does professionally very well do person have a tendency of doing some andharmic and ethical things in profession to earn money but apart from that the person is good do the person is very much concerned and attached to their wealth professional status and all of these things but the person does well between 30 to 40 the person does well and if there is no corruption in their uh, in their uh, attitude if there is no corruption in their thoughts then they continue doing well later on in life also but if there is corruption in their life then after the age of 35 36 there is a downfall in life from which they never recover right so once again as i told rahu right rahu is very problematic for the ninth house right so with a prominent rahu if you don't follow your dharma if you don't uh, you know follow your religion if you don't have ethics and morals rahu will hit you very bad so you want to improve rahu these things you will have to do right lot of desire lot of attachment rahu venus certainly gives whether it will be fulfilled or not that depends on uh, they are well placed or not in rahu venus combination venus is the fulfiller of desire right because venus indicates luxuries comforts etc venus is well placed there will be fulfillment of wishes and desires venus is not well placed then there will be issues right venus ketu ketu is a spiritual planet venus indicates marriage because of spirituality different of thoughts difference of thoughts marital life is disturbed it is also a combination for two marriages where the first marriage is dissatisfactory it also indicates a separation and a divorce in marriage suddenly before predicting any result you will check 7th house 7th lord seriously significant of the venus itself is significant so we are talking of it i have already explained you earlier how to deal if uh, how to deal the combination with respect to planet as a lot of houses and here we are only dealing with common significations and significations right common significations general significations this you have to understand apart from that as you know ketu enhances and increases the result of any planet so ketu with venus gives a lot of luxuries gives many comforts gives a good spouse generally the uh, second one or the last one spouse is very good but that depends on i believe jupiter between 0 to 15 degree first spouse is very good you ignore them then you never get good spouse between 15 degree to 30 degree the second spouse is very good the first one is not so spouse is good comfort is there luxuries are there in life there is achievement the person have real spirituality in them though they have many things but they are not attached with anything as such and they are into a lot of donation and philanthropy real spiritual person 
the spouse is very spiritual marital life is little bit disturbed though overall marital life is good right and uh, babita madam sir aapne bola jupiter 0 to 15 ye jupiter ya venus bola venus 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 okay sir yes. because of spirituality you know the personal life is little bit disturbed lekin ek cheez hai this combination of prostitution extramarital affair and all of these things there is a question that whether the native will do extramarital affair for a lifetime or they will improve ketu is the planet right if ketu is influencing the combination right mercury uh, mercury venus mars venus saturn venus mercury jupiter saturn jupiter they are all indicating rahu they are all indicating sexual perversion and all kind of things right the condition become very difficult when the 9th house 9th lord is afflicted the dharma is gone when the third house third lord is afflicted marital dharma is gone if the 9th house 9th lord third house third lord is good then the combination will not happen there will be no cheating etc and ketu is the planet who makes sure that either it never happens if ketu is also influencing strongly the combination the result never comes to pass or even if it is a weak combination then also ketu means that the person will have extramarital affair do cheating for some time but later on they will improve so it indicates a very dedicated and devoted person A spouse is very dedicated and devoted and the native though with other combinations may commit mistakes but later on the native learns a lesson and the problem the mistake is never for a complete lifetime as such is what you have to understand apart from that because ketu enhances the result of venus whatever is the result of venus that is very very prominent right success happiness comforts etc are there as we know 